Well, the whole idea of elders interacting with children really appealed to me. I heard a piece on National Public Radio. I was in awe of what was going on. I met everyone and I thought, this is the place for me. Because I never wanted to live someplace where there were just older people. The first thing about this place is it's vital. You're meeting people that are brilliant and have had incredible, incredible histories. Well, I really believe in the mission and I really feel like a lot of times elders are just kind of put aside. The treehouse vision was the place for me. I'd always been a teacher. The mission, you know, I always wanted to do something local. With so much conflicts going on in the world and to find that something that is just right in your backyard. It's a very personal connection with everybody in the community. I can open the door and find any number of things that I can poke my head into. I don't remember where I grew up having that kind of neighborhood feeling that you have here. Bringing all of that movement, dance, music, art, you know, just bringing that and have that spirit of having happiness still in their lives. It's perfect. It's perfect on so many levels. This is probably one of the most diverse neighborhoods I have ever seen. I grew up in New York City. <laughs> I came down here and I saw the kids that were familiar to me from my childhood. I said, oh yeah, this is where I'm going to be. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, where you came from. We're here and we love each other because we're here and we're all people. And it's like I finally got it. Like, yes, that's, that's, that's it. You know, Mary's always been there for the kids. They all often knock on her door. Seeing these kids who had a neighborhood, you know, of their own and that they really belonged here. And this is their forever home. They like to call me grandma. I mean, every one of these children are meant to be something amazing. They're my family, really. They're my treehouse family. We learn a lot about trauma and the effects of trauma. Looking from that broad perspective that you have a lot to offer from. You know, this is treehouse. You're safe. We have a wonderful staff here. And there's always somebody here who makes themselves available. We make really close friends here, which is nice. My neighbors know what I'm going to do before I do. Mary Steele, who's an elder in the community, and Rosa and I have been friends since I first moved here. We go to Burger King and get a cone together, and that's our big outing. And then, and then Rosa will take us, actually she gets lost, but she, she <laughs> pretends she's taking us down these beautiful roads to be able to look at the scenery. You try to do little things. Someone will call me and say, I'm going shopping, do you need anything? It's like we do show up for each other, and it's authentic, you know? I really feel like I belong here. I feel free at Treehouse. I've been so cared for and loved and respected. It's like pretty awesome. I think it's made me a better person, a kinder person, certainly. I think just the idea of still having a purpose in my life as I'm aging. I feel like Treehouse has grown me up in a lot of ways. But it's just really living it because to have all of these things to you, you know, everything available, a garden, which is like a rarity. It's given me a place that really feels like home. I love Treehouse. I really can't say enough about what is being accomplished here. It's the community I always wanted to live in. That's what keeps us going. Never stop learning. I kind of want to go anywhere else. You know, I live here. This is my home. The world needs to come together and understand kids belong to all of us. I hope people can see what a joy it is to be able to volunteer and stay involved with kids.